Hello guys, it's Iceman, and uh, this is my new series, Chat Crack. And I'm with Matt Strayboy, one of my friends, and Wonko, sleeping somewhere else. Am I not one of your friends too? <laughs> I said one of, one of my friends, and then... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Wonko's also one of my friends. Anyway, yes. Hello, this is your captain speaking, and welcome back to Life, the Universe, and Everything your daily stream of consciousness resource. And today we're going to be talking about, what was it? Windows 10. Windows 10. Because Microsoft's too good for nine. The number nine. Yeah. Welcome back to my series two. Yeah, that's my intro. All right, so shall we get our personal biases out the way with? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm going to be single, uh, uh singled out on this, but... Okay, so what what operating system do we each use currently? Uh, I'll let you guys start. I use Mac OS X. I use Windows 7. I use the ultimate Windows 8. <laughs> oh yeah, the ultimate. <laughs> so, Forgetting uh, for a second that ultimate means just the final one, which it probably won't be. Because it's got so many security errors. But, I love Windows 8. Much to the popular opinion. Yeah, so big news this week was Microsoft announcing Windows 10, going straight from 8 to 10 and skipping out this 9. It's a new because... generation. Yeah, I think it was supposed to signify the massive leaps that were being made. Ooh, yes, lovely. that's what it was supposed to do, but instead they just mashed the two, the one failed version and the one successful version. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not really a new version. And then they added a couple of Mac features as well, and then... Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, we came up with something new. <laughs> However, I, I think I might like it. I think I'm gonna like it. I've I've looked at screenshots from their early development builds. I've I've watched videos because they released that uh, IT kind of tech build where people can experiment with it, give their feedback and whatnot. I I think it's gonna be good. I I mean, it's it's early still in development, so it's hard to say, but. Yeah, I guess I, I kind of like it. They can say a lot, but really, until I see it, I won't really know if I want to keep it or not. Um, but I like the fact that they're still using some Windows 7 stuff. But I think I'd prefer if they did a little bit more than just use two old operating systems and put them together and actually make a semi new one as well. Because I feel yeah. like it's just old stuff still. Yeah, if you look over their list of the key features. All of them are either from Windows 7 or Windows 8, and the two new things that they really had on there are um, being able to have multiple desktops, so multiple groups of applications that you can switch between, and also a basically Mac expose type view, or I suppose mission control it's turned into now. Yeah. So, you know, not really very much new, but improved a lot of old stuff it, it's combined improved, in yeah. a bunch of new worlds the, improved hopefully we haven't seen it yet fully but the hope is that it's better than any of those three yeah. individually <laughs> one thing i can say personally uh i also own an xbox one which also uses kind of the windows uh layout and everything and um they're trying to and i also have a tablet so they're trying to tune it into where it's it can be kind of universal, whereas opposed to Windows 8, it was more focused on just tablets, mm -hmm. and that's where it really fell in terms of quality and everything. But um, they're trying to universalize the App Store, and while that may seem kind of like a good idea, uh, I know for Xbox One, there's only certain apps that you care about, and everything else is just garbage. Same with the tablet and the PC, so you don't really want to see all the other apps because it's going to create a cl cluttered interface. Um, so yeah, I, th I think it combines Microsoft App Store unless they do something really radical, it's pretty much doomed to fail. So yeah. is it combining both PC, tablet stuff, and like uh, Xbox? Like, is it consoles everything into one store? Yeah. That's what they're huh. thinking of doing, and like for some people, that's good because they they like to experiment with apps and everything. But for me, I have a very specific set of apps that I like to use. Everything else, I don't really want to experiment with because 
One, so you're saying one. you wouldn't use an app store because you don't buy apps? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, I, well, I don't I, think well, I would no, really... I do buy apps. It's just, the, especially on Xbox One, it has a limited amount of storage. And you don't want to clutter an Xbox One. PC Master Race. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I love PC over the Xbox, okay? But I still lo enjoy playing on the Xbox because there's certain exclusives you can't get. Mm-hmm. But now, now you threw me off. There's the question. About. If there weren't any console exclusives, would there be a console market? No. Uh, yes, I believe there would be. Uh, because of ease of use and cost. Uh, well, then again, I guess you could get a lower end PC as well. You get a lower end but PC. Yeah. I I think ease of use as well. Console and for f I don't uh, know. playing with friends. Uh, like uh. local f um, playing with friends. That's something on PC you cannot really play. Like if you have friends come over, unless they all bring computers, which you basically have to be part of the PC Master Race for that, then like. But, but it just let's be honest work. here. Yeah, but who doesn't it's... have a PC these days? But Honestly. a gaming PC. Like that can you actually don't play need games. Much to, to play games anymore. Like a lot of the compatibility issues have been like fixed. Here's a question. If Super Smash Bros. Brawl was on PC as well, because honestly, when's the last play time anyone played any other game, local, multiplayer? Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. When, well, but... it, it kind of depends. Uh, like, I think it, it depends. Like, for me, it's going to be a little bit biased because, well, I guess in the fact that I don't have many people come over that play stuff other than PC, because whenever I have friends over... It's usually everybody like you guys that have PCs, so we just bring them and we're fine. But I think for just general people that aren't so PC orientated, it's really helpful just because it's like something that you can sit down with four friends and play on one console. That's fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. I think it's um, easier local wise, but. Quick thing do we have any slime balls? No. No. Okay. Or is it a try? Do we even know of any swamps? It's a bunny! Yeah, there's a swamp right here, isn't there? Bunny. I haven't seen a bunny yet. <laughs> it's a good bunny. How do you yes. know if they're evil? It's about one in a thousand or something. So how don't do you worry know if they're evil bunnies? You uh, they attack, attack them and they attack you. Oh, oh no, they'll, you don't even have to attack them. They'll just go away. Just attack you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Where is our base? Um, what do bunnies give you when you kill them? Nothing. No, bunny meat and bunny you get anything. Bunny meat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that essentially what it is? <laughs> Rabbit? But yeah, okay, bunny meat's good too. Oh. Um, I need those coordinates, don't worry about them. <laughs> you know, you okay. just write them down, right? I, well, Did you go to the nether? It. Yeah, I'm in the I, nether. I already saw him set up the portal and everything. When I was oh. I'm just collecting wood because I need to make fences. I was going to make ah. leads, but now I'm going to have to do this a difficult way. I am totally lost, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> what were you supposed to be doing? I was leveling up to level oh, 30. Oh, right, right. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, does, I don't think we said what we're doing. Does it matter? Um, I'm Not working really. on finding Minecraft. another fortress, but yeah. Minecraft. I'm making a farm. <laughs> background stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how s successful do you think? Windows 10 is going to be. Do you think people, a large number of people are going to be prepared to give it a second chance um, after, after objecting to Windows 8 for so long? I am not sure to be honest. I think as always there will be people that buy the new one. Um, I enough think everyone to make it will worth be it. Yeah. But I, I think it's going to be people are going to be really watching out for the issues. They're going to be more picky I believe. Um, but I think and if it if it's if it looks good, I still think it'll sell just as well as it would with any other one. Right. But there people are, I believe are going to be more picky about it. Yeah. If, if people are more cautious, then they might wait to see if other people adopt it first and if it this becomes the standard. Point. Yeah. And if mm -hmm. a large number of people do that, then that could delay it becoming the standard. But this isn't the first time that Windows is like Microsoft has really screwed up on their operating system. No, it's pretty much every other. One, isn't it? Yeah, so Windows, I mean... ME, Windows. Oh, I found the dungeon. Oh, someone else found the dungeon first. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Vista was a letdown. Vista was a letdown. Emmy was a letdown. What was the one before 98? Ninety-seven. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Eternal wisdom. How do you make fences? It, it's different. Uh, it's you need wood, lo- like logs uh, or planks. Yeah, planks on the two sides and sticks in the middle. It's oh, like I just made a ton of sticks opposite, for nothing. Opposite of a fen- of skates. fence. Yeah. How do I make a fence gate? Opposite of that. <laughs> it's. I think. Yeah, sticks on the middle left, middle right, bottom left, bottom right, and planks in the middle center and middle lower. Where okay. is the base? I can't. Uh, yeah. I think it's around 335.92.90. I think that's around it. Um, but yeah, so. When are they planning to release Windows 10? Because I haven't really looked into uh, Early builds 2015, and at the start of 2015, and after that, they haven't really talked about it much. It, okay. Because they're trying to work with the public this time mm-hmm. and really mash out the bugs before they That'd release be nice. it. <laughs> so, I mean, it works. If that plan works, it's going to be great. But I don't think they're going to listen. Mm-hmm. I guess it really does depend. I mean, they did listen in terms of uh, the Xbox One when they had those uh, always-on internet issues come up. But <laughs> well, that's because they weren't going to sell a single Xbox if they didn't change it. Well, no, they would have still sold. <laughs> Microsoft's been working hard, though, to sort of change their brand image because while Steve Ballmer was in control, they sort of had the image of a great big Goliath that was mm-hmm. only continuing to exist under its own inertia, almost. So they're trying to reform themselves into something that's innovative and cool. Well, I guess that's good. But it, I think it's going to be difficult for them. Like, I don't know, Windows 8. I love Windows 8, so I'm no matter what, I'm going to get the new platform. But the thing is, just, what alternative is there instead of getting the new Windows instead of just it's... keeping with Windows 7 again? Well, yeah, and, until they end support for Windows 7 like they did mm-hmm. with XP. And even until then, even now, large numbers of people still use XP. But mm-hmm. I wonder, since they're doing it with, uh, like, with the support of other people who like base it off of what they want, will they close the port for Windows Seven and make it so that you have to get the new one because it's so good because it's already been tested by everyone who loves Windows Seven that. It's just going to become the new replacement. And I, only, I honestly think if they end support for Windows 7 within a year or something, that's mm-hmm. or within a very short time frame, they're going to be mm-hmm. committing social media suicide. <laughs> yeah, brand image suicide. It will be bad. I, it's I totally agree, but it's just something where you have to think about it. If they're really trying to get the support of people. And they make this amazing system. If it's that amazing, are they willing to like shut down their other amazing thing to prove it's well, Microsoft's I think problem. They wouldn't do it. Microsoft's problem for a long time is that if they build the perfect operating system, they're out of business. Mm-hmm. And recently they've been and it's the same thing for Microsoft Word and Office as well. Mm-hmm. So recently you can see they've been uh, changing into a subscription model with Windows or Office 365 mm-hmm. rather than um, a single payment model. But in order to make sure that they're going to have a consistent stream of income, because you don't want to make the perfect version of the software, sell it for two years, and then you're mm-hmm. out of business. That is true. But other than that, um, they've talked about... Like, have you guys seen any of the screenshots that they've showed for nope. Windows 10? I, I have, yes. I haven't gotten the um, chance. So, I can try to describe it, I guess. So, you know how they have the search bar and everything, right? In the bottom left, for mm-hmm. Windows 7? Yes. Yeah. Um, they've merged the live tiles with that same thing. So, it, may, it makes it look really bulky. And I don't know if I like that. It makes it a really large portion of your... 
your screen that ends up being used just for the taskbar area. And that's something about the whole Metro design, which I've come to really not like, is this whole obsession with great big, really colorful buttons, right? But mm -hmm. instead, where you had usable space to put content in, now it's a big button with a small word in the middle. Yeah. So well, but Office you... 365 in particular feels much less efficient. But there's always the option to, you can always downscale the tiles and then it makes the text more big in terms of... And, do you want to sleep? Yes, I was waiting for you to get back. Um, so I, I guess it, I don't know. It's going to be some, I feel like it's going to be a clunky design. And I feel like they're going to hash that out really soon, especially with early testing. I kind of wanted to do the early testing, but then it's an experimental build, and I don't want to have to really like wipe my computer at one yeah, point if that'd it's. That'd be a big pain. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm gonna try and look up on stuff. I think I'm gonna pay more attention because while I did like Windows 8, there it did have flaws. I'm not gonna say it didn't. Yeah, uh, most operating systems have some flaws in some way. I don't, but I don't think that Windows 8 deserved as much black as it did get. I do think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think guess... the two of us are going to have to disagree with you. I, I know, I know, but uh, that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I guess... You're perfectly entitled to personal opinions. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess yeah, it, it did get a lot of flack. I think it's just because it was a very big change that people didn't necessarily want, but whether or not it was deserved, that's an opinion-based thing. I also think um, that Windows 8 received flack from the Xbox unveiling, and people were taking out their anger on Microsoft. I do think that was the case there. I don't know, because Windows 8 was quite a bit before the Xbox One, wasn't it? The well, whole it they didn't talk too much about the flaws about it until after it started really getting announced for Xbox One, like the the constant internet thing and all that but, stuff and like no transfer over of games i think it was linked in a sense honestly what was microsoft expecting when they made that announcement i, I know but they're saying oh look at these people they don't care about privacy at all not especially not in wake of all these edward snowden leaks gosh <laughs> hey look there's just been ev evidence that we've been collaborating with the um U.S. government for years. Let's put something in our console that makes sure it's always listening to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It wasn't really thought out that well, I don't think. I, uh, uh, but uh, that's just personal opinion with uh, I, yeah, I know. Xbox. I, I, yeah, I that's agree that a marketing didn't... flaw, really. I don't think they executed announcing and everything well enough as they should have, but for, I do think it links to those downfall. Not in mm -hmm. term, like I still think that Windows 8 would have done worse or, than Windows 7 hands down. I agree totally that that platform is so much better. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. They made spruce fence gates. <sighs> yeah, you can have any different types now. No, but not about and the doors fence. as well. Yeah, and but doors. you can't do that for fences. The fences stay the same color. You uh, but... seriously? Wait. Oh, that's no, annoying. It, it depends no, 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 on what no, type does, of blank you use. It does, but I accidentally used. I have to go get more oak. Yeah, regular blanks, but you use the spruce to make the sticks. Did you? Uh, uh... <laughs> Change the order, and now I have to go find more oak. So know. nice, just being able to pop down into a cave and find diamonds. Uh huh. We've got so many diamonds now. I was amazed when I hopped on. I was like, what? That can't be true. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. And it's completely vanilla, guys. Yes, completely. 100%. No, it, it, it is because it's using the 1.8 spawn. Actually, it's not 100%. Uh, no, it is. Well, if I have a texture pack, is that's not considered vanilla, is it? Or is that just... Well, technically not, but... Yeah, technically, technically not. not, but it doesn't really Change have an easy... game, yeah. Okay. Unless your texture pack is a x-ray texture pack. Right, well, you know... <laughs> gotta... Gotta do it sometimes. Got another dungeon. Nice. 
Well, I found another fortress, but it's... Yeah, I found a lot of, uh, what are they called? Withers, but I can't really... I should probably get a looting sword before I try to farm them. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. So, other than that, does anyone have anything else to say about it? Like, I mean... Not I'm really hopeful. There's not too, too much that's been released, so... There's not a ton that Huge we can talk about say. right now, but... But we're both... We're all hopeful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'd be nice to get another new operating system, but I guess if it doesn't turn out well, then I guess I just don't buy a new operating system. By the way, uh, Matt, I'm not sure if you knew about this. There's an insane number of dungeons. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Why? Because we upped the frequency. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. They're cool. Except uh, Wonko has had some issues finding them. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> But yeah. Um, just I had something I wanted to talk about regarding Windows 10, but I can't remember. Do you think it was smart of them to change it to Windows 10 instead of Windows 9? Do you think that has any effect, really? They've never Windows... really. They haven't followed the numbering system that much. Like Windows Vista to seven. Yeah, I guess yeah, they I... have really changed it quite it wasn't a bit. Wasn't six to seven. It was it, like it's. I don't know why people are kind of freaking out about it, like, like oh, you can't, you just totally skipped a number. And like, yeah, I guess Honestly, Windows 9 doesn't actually sound that good. It's not a great name. They they know they screwed up, and they want to make, like, they've said in their blog post and in everything that I've read, that this is supposed to be a new start for Windows, like, it's a new generation that's going to be using this and everything. Yes, and maybe future versions of the operating system can just be built off of Windows 10. So Windows 10.1 or Windows 10.2 or Mac OS 10.3 or Mac OS 10. What, sorry? Uh, what? Yeah. I feel like there was some bias in that. No. <laughs> Me? Bias towards know. Apple? Never. Hey, I sent fences through the nether portals for you, Matt. Just... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, and that's all I really have to say about that. Ah, uh, same here. Hold on, I need to go. I need to go look up this article that I was reading earlier about. Uh, seriously, <laughs> these things drag on too long to. as it is. Um. Oh, how long have we been going for? Too long, uh, probably. I forgot to start minutes? my timer. Yeah, can I end here, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess right. uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.